Okay, so next up, next problem that we have. So, we have our hole cut for the outlet, no problem. I'll just give you a test fit here. Get everything all lined up. So that me method works great. It's perfectly lined up. You can have a little bit of slop either way. You know, if it had to come over this way, come over this way. And you should, as long as you make a relatively close cut, um, you should have plenty of room for the switch cover to still cover up any rough cuts or any imperfections or anything like that. But as you can see, that's a, that's a pretty nice clean cut. So, back to our next problem. This particular uh, tile itself, as you can see, has these nice raised raised areas nice and flat raised so the switch cover doesn't want to sit perfectly flat up against the tile like it should so I've already made three of the four cuts just for time's sake but you mark this out you place the tile, the piece of tile up on the wall, and it, it would help if you'd have a second set of hands. If not, oh well, make do. Uh, that's that's the American way, right? So you would set this up here, the switch cover, and you need to mark out on just the high spots where you need to make make these cuts. So now that we've got them marked out, remove this, set it to the side. As you can see, I've already, I've already cut one, two, and if it'll focus here, three. So the last one I have to do is cut right here. So all we're going to do is we're gonna take the Dremel tool and we're gonna cut straight down right along that line all the way across and then we'll come back if I can get this out of the way here and we're gonna come back and cut flat in this direction just like that so effectively all we're doing and you can see it here is taking a notch out of it to make it flush with the other tiles. Then this cover plate will sit down in here all nice and neat.